So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with a really quick. Ooh, of course, um, Doka Battle video. So of course we did get some news for the next Doka Fest coming to JP. It is. All right, it's. I mean, this is the same time slot as Videl from last year, and I know a lot of people aren't excited. I mean, including me, just because Ryzen isn't like the really the best. I. I mean, does it really deserve a Doka Fest? I mean, he did beat. He did beat the dog crap out of Goku and Piccolo, so I mean, having the Doka Fest isn't a terrible idea if you have no options left, because again, we had a good thing going, we had like, you know, Saiyan Day, we had King Ginyu, we had the gods, uh, I mean I mean, again, like I said with the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie being delayed right now, uh, and a Golden Week, I feel like last year we got Golden Week for in the GT, new GT for the Super Saiyan GT Goku and Vegeta uh, last year, this, not on this time slot, but this is Videl's time slot. Then we had Golden Week, which was probably going to be the Super Dragon Ball Hero movie because it's literally coming out almost exactly, like legitimately, like legitimately, like almost like in a couple more weeks. It was going to, but then of course I got had. So I did do a whole break review, review video. I'll get somewhere around me, hype above. I will, excuse me, I will post the essay animations, of course, when I get the chance to. But yeah, um, because again, um, I didn't like you know, um, I tried to record this like early, I just couldn't like get, I couldn't because I was like, oh man, I don't have I don't have um, Nappa's info, but now we have rides and Nappa's info because we do actually get a new Nappa just in case if you guys didn't know. But um, yeah, um, again, um, it's not the hard because in the thumbnail, I usually post a card art and for the celebration info, I usually do something else. I kind of learned how to do that now, so just it's time to save time. And I was just kind of bored, so I literally did like what three thumbnails yesterday, and I was just kind of bored. So, yeah, on my free time, I'll probably make some more thumbnails just in case if something comes out, or well, just in case, or whatever, just because, yeah, I have having fun with it now, so yeah. Because uh, back in the day when I first started doing YouTube, I did like when I started using my um, thumbnail maker on uh, Pixlr. I have a link below just in case if you guys want to. I have everything you see linked below. Um, I use that for like, you know, making like web thumbnails and stuff like that. Uh, really good quality, really good stuff. Um, but yeah. I used it though, um, I used to do like three thumbnails a day, I used to do it back then, um, back in like, what, 2019, like, I think early 2020-ish, but, um, I did I kind of just stopped doing it, because I was like, nah, whatever, but, I mean, if I got nothing else to do, I can just literally do that, plus I actually did have a lot of energy though, so, of course, so, let's get started, we got a lot of new info coming up, we got a lot of new stuff, of course, here, again, like I said, new Raditz, uh, and a new Nappa, of course, I even know, so, yeah, of course, we'll get started with the info, and thank you to Minato, shout out to him from, from Five Night Gaming, he is cool, awesome, love his stuff, <laughs> it's crazy, but, yeah, um, he um, got I see all the translations and stuff like that because I guess because Goresh was I think very busy with Legends because they got a new Golden Frieza and we we got an All Star banner though I will make another video video um a video when as soon as I can though but I do want to hurry up and make this one just because I want to get that one and this one kind of done because Legends took a little longer just because I got to go over the kids and breaking down everything and just going over you know the horrible now video not a video quality but the horrible you know loading on my video or well, what I'm trying to. See the super attacks and animations. <laughs> but yeah, I think Golden Freeze's model is new though. I think Weiss's model is kind of new. I think it might be. I don't know. Of course. Uh, let's get started though. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, right here. I think Napa's probably going to be the same way though. I've not seen their info at all though. So this is, me, this is my first legit reaction going over it. Over it. So you yeah, got Reddit is physical, of course, obviously. It was going to be obvious. Him and Napa, again. I was thinking AGL, but I was like, we haven't gotten a physical Reddit. We have a tech one. We have an int one that's free to play. Um, we have the STR one. I was like, it's gonna be either AGL or physical. I was thinking, like, I was thinking, I was like, I doubt it'd be AGL just because we just got the game when he was AGL. So I'm like, yeah, he's gonna be physical. It was obvious. Extreme physical does need that help though. Or for any unit in general, they still need that help though. But, um, yeah, they can use it more though. So, of course, let's go with Sand Saga or Pure Sands, Key 3, everything at once. Definitely pretty simple and easy though, of course. Again, we all thought he was gonna be, um, but Sand Saga new. I think Saiyan Saga might be new for Raditz. I just noticed that. I think it actually might be new. Um, plus additional um, HP attack, plus um, every, plus every, um, plus additional all sets key, um, all sets up 30% for a character who has space traveling warriors. Okay, that's really good. I like the um, triple leader skill. I'm, glad, I'm really glad they gave him. And he's a Saiyan Saga unit, so yeah, it seems like my might gain Saiyan Saga for Golden Week. I'm just kidding, of course. We just got Cow King Goku and Great Vegeta. They're never gonna do that again. Forget your Golden Week prediction, kids. But yeah. Uh, SA is great with attack defense for one turn, immense damage to all enemies. Oh, he's an attack all unit. That's good. That's actually really good. Good for World Tournament, though, just in case. 
So the bot can make them like, you know, give them attack defense, like, we you know, we're finding one enemy, or like, we're doing, because usually with AoEs, they'll do that. But again, he hasn't meant so, which is really good, so. Yeah, he's pretty much, I guess, like, kind of like Eight Cabo, which everybody's saying that, and like the World Tournament one, the Freak Boy one, which I'm not surprised, I'm kind of glad they did that, though, just because of all this. Um, and then, of course, um, passive attack defense was 150. <clears throat> Again, like so with these World Tournament units, where if I can get one enemy, multiple enemies, or something like that, they usually do this kind of like step, um, stat buffs or something like that in general. Attack defense was 150. Um, finding one enemy, plus additional attack, uh, plus another attack defense about 50%. But when doing a super attack, and when the enemy's HP is 50, when the enemy's HP is 50% or less, further the attack goes up even further up 100%. When doing a super attack, um, gains a high chance of more crit. We're facing two or more enemies plus additional attack defense plus one a uh, defense plus 150 and performs a crit when they're same oh, wait, oh, a crit within the same turn after receiving the attack key to when delivering the final blow okay i thought i had a feeling the rats were gonna be like this kind of like they're gonna make him kind of op ish but i mean he's decently good again he does kind of run me a bit cabo because of crit uh the support and stuff like that of course and fighting two more enemies but it definitely does make sense because he did fight goku and piccolo and then again like i said it definitely does make sense plus again i mean you can use him for world i mean no because ST oh str bro is the thing there too so i gotta say you gotta kind of be careful but uh, yeah you're probably not gonna use him there because it's just I mean, he's physical um not really be finding that much probably units in the world tournament anyway though but i mean hey he's good he's decently good he's good um and you're way better than Videl from last year. I mean, Videl, a lot of people said she was the best team in the game, but the problem with her is that, whereas you can run on teams, but Videl was like, no one, I mean, they run her, but she only really got for Pepe Gals, a couple of teams, and half the time it's literally just Pepe Gals, and that's pretty much it, though, so kind of got to take that into consideration. You know, you got to think about the teams, the units, what they link, what they do, and stuff like that. You kind of, kind of think about that in the process as well, so. Then I'll be a process. Of course, he has an active skill, which we activate after receiving three or more attacks during the battle when we're finding one enemy. Um, so the active skill it greatly raises attack, temp greatly raises in temporary attack, to, uh, temporary temporarily greatly raises attack, causes ultimate damage and stuns the attack enemy for one turn. That makes sense. His links are same lineage, same way race, coward, brutal beatdown, nightmare prefer for battle and fierce battle. A lot of people did say he wanted the coward link off. His links are decently good, like the other Rad's links are decently good. His aren't that bad either. His categories are low cost warrior, Chris Saiyan's Goku's family. Oh well they actually put him on Goku's family. A lot of people were memeing on that. I was joking though too. I was like, there's no way they could put him on Goku family. <laughs> they actually really put him on Goku family. Terrifying Conquerors, Fair Traveling Warriors, and Saiyan Saga. Because a lot of people want him to either be like Terrifying Conquerors and Low Class Warrior. Good man, Saiyan Saga, and stuff like that, of course. Get yeah, that start building up, though. I mean, the category might not be as good because it can, like I said, because they could add tons of opportunities to do Saiyan Saga. You know, like, like legit, like the actual Saiyan Saga category, but I don't think that, like, enough units, like Hero and Villain specifically, and etc., etc. That's why I kind of am thinking of it, though. So, um,. Yeah, I mean, Raz is good. Again, way better than Vidal from last year. That's my good opinion, though. Of course, on to Reddit, um, Reddit's on the door. Nappa right here. So, yeah, he does Sand Saga, Key 3, everything at 130. Great, they're greatly is defensive for one turn, supreme damage. Passive does attack defense plus 170. Um, gains defense of 780%. What the heck is that? Based on how many, again, yeah, he just basically, the better the, better the HP boost, the better defensive, and better defensive, better HP boost. But the additional attack plus. 78% when there's one enemy gain, say it's like a category allies key to attack defense was 30% and additional key, um, attack was 7% and, def and defense was 8% well for each super class enemy okay yeah. oh yeah it has active skill holy crap that's insane they actually gave him an active skill that's really insane can be activated once there are three or more enemies oh, um or after receiving six or more attacks. Okay, you still gather having three or more enemies, which is a battle rail in red zone. Not really red zone, but it's a battle rail. Um, active skill calls ultimate damage to enemy and attack enemies. Attack plus 31% and defense minus, no, minus 31% attack and defense is up at minus 81%. He seals in, in, in seals and super attack for one turn. Leaves a brutal breakdown, same warrior race, end fighter, berserker, tough as nails, shocking speed, first battle, and the categories are Saiyan Saga, Pierce Saiyans, Terrifying Conqueror, Special Alert Warriors. They made them good. I had expected them. I was like, eh, Raz is a Doken Fist, kind of eh. But they made him good. Again, they made him an AoE. I was thinking he's going to be good for World Tournament again. But sadly, again, you're going to be fighting a lot of STR units like, I don't know, like the OG STR Broly. Um, L or STR Broly. Because a lot of people do want the OG Broly. Like, even me, I still want him on the team. He's, he's good. He does kind of LR Broly damage levels. 
in like the lower tier, like you know, brackets and stuff like that. But that still really is good. That's insane. Like holy crap, I did not. Um, yeah, I didn't expect them to be this good. Like I really didn't expect them to be this good. Naba has a really good defense boost and really good attack and a really good support. That's actually really good. And then on top of that. You have Rats, which is a really good unit, though. So, yeah, so there's everything I want to kind of cover and go over, to, go over though, today. Um, but, yeah, um, thank you to Manala for all the info and stuff about that. Of course, I want to shout them out more. Um, but, yeah, they made them good. Like, I'm really impressed with this stuff. Rats is really good. Again, sadly, we're not... I mean, you can use them for Warcraft you want to. Good leader skill, good passive. Again, like I said, Link's going to be decently good. And him and Napa, again, are both really good. I mean, for units like this, you do kind of got to go all out, though. And definitely does make sense, though. So, um, yeah, though, um... Gonna go ahead and end the video there for sure, though. So, um, yeah. Uh, see you guys there, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good drink again, though. Make sure I stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you going out. Put on our masks. We'll be really, really neat. Oh, so we gotta think of all this stuff. Of course, look like at you hate it. Again, very simple, very easy. They're good. They're disgusting. Holy crap. I, I, I have a they were gonna be good, but again, they're way better than the Bedell. I mean, again, Bedell, you know, human wise or whatever, but they made them good. I had a feeling they were gonna be this good. I didn't go in too hard, though, but I mean, not a bad pick for a Doka Fest. Again, if a Doka can be a Doka Fest at this point, anything can be a Doka Fest at this point, though. So, I mean, tell me how Minosha were in LR last year. We probably will get a part to LR. Maybe a Vegeta, maybe a Goku, maybe? Or like a pet, maybe like a new Goku and um, Vegeta. Goku, Vegeta. Goku and Piccolo, maybe? On as a side banner, part to LR, because last year we did get Tipping on Minosha. Just saying that, though, of course. But yeah, see you guys later, though, again, though. So.